Okay, well, I suppose it is no surprise what is in this box uh, from the thumbnail, but uh, let's do an unboxing. All the other YouTubers do an unboxing of something at, uh, at some point. So let's see if it uh, made the trip okay. open. I'm hoping we have a good packing job and so far everything looks good. Alright, get this out of the way. Get this out of the box. Get okay. Alright, so what we have here is the um, Science Fair Electronic Project Kit number 201. This is a 50 in 1 kit. Uh, this came out in 1967. And uh, I got one of these. It was a gift from my parents. Uh, and my parents were very good uh, giving us kids um, a lot of um, science and learning and crafts type thing. I mean, we got, you know, we, we did get toys, but honestly, mostly we got things that we could learn from, educational gifts. Um, and uh, this is kind of what started it for me and why I'm still heavily involved in electronics uh, to this very day. So I pro this came out in 67. I probably got this probably got this like 1969-ish or so, um, and I just remember how thrilled I was when I opened this and never in a million years imagined it. So um, let's take the cover off and see what we have. Oh, nice job packing on the inside, and I have not held this, this book in my hand in a long, long time. These were sold uh, from Radio Shack, so um, here's the speaker, the battery pack, um, wire for the antenna, the little earplug, um, Empty some of this stuff out. Oh, the photo cell is in there. And then these were all the wires for the jumpers. Uh, let's see what else here. Um, you know, and that's a good chance I might have to replace the caps. Um, I'll test everything out. Um, this is just so awesome. And my original one still exists. Um, it's packed away somewhere, but uh, being the tinkerer that I was, and I fixed, I started fixing kids, um, you know, classmates, radios and stuff as, as a kid, and uh, I would borrow parts uh, out of this um, for the you know, to make repairs. So over time, various parts of mine um, disappeared. So here's the um, and it's an awesome shape. Uh, so they you know there was a theory of operation. Here was all the projects, fifty projects, and um, God, I, I just remember that picture like it was like it was yesterday. So we're gonna pick something uh, out here. Here's another cool thing. This is uh, the original wire antenna from my kit. And my dad, uh, this I think was a box that had something to do with our dryer. And this was a big deal, we got a dryer you know, back in, you know, the late 60s, early 70s, and that was a big deal. And and anyhow, um, I remember my dad actually cut this out, and you can see it looks a lot like, you know, what, what they shipped. And this is my original wire from my original uh, kit. This is an actual 
Radio Shack 9 volt battery that my dad would have got me as a kid and I still have it and it didn't corrode and get all crazy over the years. So uh, looking it over and looking at the picture here, um, we have the, um, oh no, it's in there, it's in there. Oh cool. So the only thing we're missing, so here's the, uh, the 9 volt connector is actually in here. So there's the nine volt connector. And this is for two C cells, I imagine. And the only thing it's missing that I can tell is it had a um, uh, four pack, uh, four, four battery battery pack. I'm gonna pick out a project and uh, Film it and see if it works. Okay, so the kit uh, or the project that I am going to do, I think this would be a fun one to do, is going to be project number four, and it is a two transistor radio. So we have, I was surprised, this kit, I'm really surprised. Um, it actually, uh, these transistors are both PNPs, uh, and that's interesting that they're both PNPs uh, instead of a PNP and an NPN, and that they went with a PNP. Uh, an NPN is just an easier transistor uh, to work with. It's more logical um, with the biasing and and such, but it uh, you know it gives a good circuit. Uh, description theory of operation and that our first transistor is actually a, a detector amplifier so uh, I'm gonna set this down and show you how this works we'll get these get our parts at it uh, and this uses also the 9 volt um, the 9 volt battery so um, in just a matter of minutes here, uh, if everything works, we'll have a um, functioning AM radio. So uh, let's see. I'm gonna uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out some of these wires and uh, get an idea for which ones are gonna work best for the various distances, and uh, then I'll turn the camera back on. How I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to run my whole ground track. Uh, and in this case, since it's using PNPs, uh, the uh, it's actually a positive. It's actually a positive uh, ground. So I'm going to run essentially it's most of this row and this right here. I hope all it's in the camera. Um, and I'm just going to actually look at the schematic uh, <laughs> to do it because, you know, that's how I would, that's how you do it when you do it for real. So we're going to go from the end of the antenna um, to one end of the variable capacitor. So we're just using, we're, just going in and out one end of the variable capacitor. And then we're gonna go to, um, from there, from there we're gonna go to the emitter of this PNP transistor. Man, this is, I mean, it is like I did this yesterday and it's, been um, 50 something years <laughs> since I've done anything uh, with this. So it is just so cool. Um, you know, I'm just going to say thanks mom and dad. And well, you get the idea. Um, I'm going to hook the rest of this up. I'm just, I'm just following uh, the schematic and hitting all the, the positive side of the battery, which in this this, that's the ground uh, for this, and and then I will uh, 
do all the uh, resistors and capacitors their other side to the other side of their components. So let me do that and I'll come back. All right, so it is working. I'll just connect that speaker, right, so you can see. So it's picking up WSB, which is the local big 50,000 watt station. Now it's nighttime, so they've cut their power back, but... Uh, You know, you can see it's fairly accurate. Where it's picking it up, so, um, yay. Um, built this uh, just following... Like I said, I'd put in my ground path first and then... Uh, just worked left to right. I worked in from my antenna through my detector, uh, my coupling capacitor in and out of the detector, in and out of that coupling capacitor, and then into that transistor and out towards the speaker, which is, you know, in good practice, how you should kind of build anything. So, so yay. Okay, so yay, um, got a good little radio project uh, working here, and uh, it was just as much fun now as when I built my first one as a kid. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed this video of building the uh, two transistor radio, actually uh, being able to tune in a station here at work using the uh, 1967 Science Fair 15 uh, one project kit number 201, originally sold by Radio Shack. Uh, it brought back so many memories for me having received this uh, as a child back in you know, the late 60s, uh, and it's what got me started in electronics, which I clearly am still doing uh, to this day. So, if you enjoyed this video, please press that uh, like uh, and subscribe button. Please turn up the comments and share, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.